Professional cleaner Linda Dykes is teaming up with a select squad of obsessive cleaners because she believes they have a unique set of skills which could help clean up Britain. Hayley? I'm Linda. Hello. Pleased to meet you. This is my kitchen. No, it looks very, very clean. I'm impressed. 27-year-old full-time mum of three, Hayley, was diagnosed with obsessive compulsive disorder in 2007. She's so afraid of germs that she cleans for up to 19 hours a day. Cleaning is very important in my life. I wouldn't ever go a day where I wasn't cleaning. Ever. 750,000 people in the UK have been diagnosed with OCD. Hayley's OCD compels her to clean, but other compulsions include counting and ritually switching lights on and off. Every morning, I will bleach and disinfect my fridge, and these trays will go into the sink, mixed with bleach and disinfectant. The water has to be boiling hot, and I will use bleach, probably about a quarter of the bottle, disinfectant as well. Hayley gets through up to two bottles of bleach and three pairs of rubber gloves every single day. I absolutely love bleach. It does smell strong. It's almost to the point that you feel like you can't breathe and like it proper like hits the back of your throat, so you're like, oh. Her fear of germs is so strong that she won't allow visitors to poo in her house and she cleans her toilet up to five times a day. I have got no time for feces. Don't like it. Never have done. That's why I don't have an animal, because... It makes me want to vomit. It's been five years since Hayley was diagnosed with OCD, and although she still has a strong compulsion to clean, she's learned how to manage her condition and wants to use it to help others. The fact that I have my OCD will be very useful. Look what I'm doing as a result of it. I'm helping someone else. <laughs> Thirty-nine-year-old Shireen lives in Plumstead, South East London, in a one-bed property which has barely been cleaned since she moved in two years ago. I live here on my own. It was a lovely flat when I first came to it. <laughs> but now it looks like a bomb's hit it, to be quite honest. My relationship with cleaning currently is... We're not on good terms, <laughs> let's just say. <laughs> when Shireen's marriage fell apart, she suffered a breakdown and lost all pride in her home. I used to be married to a man who was very clean. The house had to be spotless and it was like a showroom. I think I rebelled, I went the other end. I don't have many people around my flat. Because of the state it is, I would be embarrassed. My mum is not very happy with me. Now I realise how isolating I'm making myself. Shireen is a Muslim, but her living conditions leave little room for her to practise her faith. If I go to pray, I've got this tiny bit of exposed carpet in the bedroom and I'll just pray here. Cleanliness is actually part of faith, so... If the ladies at the mosque saw how my house looked, some of them would have something to say. It doesn't really <laughs> tally with that at all. Obsessively Clean Hayley has agreed to try and help Shireen bring order to her home. I really am hoping I'm not going to a flat right now. I just don't like flats. I feel like because there's no open space, it's even more of an issue that germs are going to be in there because it's like, it's so like confined. But with her anxiety levels going up, the layout of Shireen's flat could prove taxing to Hayley. Hello. Oh, hello, I'm Shireen. Hello. Hi. How are you? Not too bad. <laughs> this is the landing. OK. Sorry, mind where you step. Yeah, um, fortunately, more clutter. Uh, I I can't believe why why do you, what, I don't know I don't know what to say right now. When did you mop last? I can't remember to be honest. You are kidding. <laughs> are you joking me? You can't remember when you last mopped. I ha I have no cleaning routine. It's only when it gets really bad that I will do something about it. So yes. how bad has it got to be? <laughs> I'm not going <laughs> to lie right now. I feel like this is pretty bad. What is wrong with your sponges? They are 100% lifeless. They are 
Shocking. OK, should Can we I go and you? see the other rooms? Yep. Yeah. OK, I'll show you the bedroom. I hope you don't have a heart attack. <laughs> This is probably the worst room in the flat. Um, Your bedroom. I can't even open the door wide because there's a whole load of. Um, I can peek through and see. Oh my goodness! <laughs> sorry, if you can. Do you want me to take my yeah, shoes off? please. Sorry. Shireen uses her bedroom to pray, so no shoes allowed. Have I honestly got to take my shoes off? Yeah. But Haley's obsessive fear of germs won't allow her to go barefoot on the dirty carpet. Has the floor been havered? No, it hasn't. Oh, wow. Oh, but... my God. <laughs> I don't know if I can do that. I'm really sorry. I don't mind standing here, though. Oh, right. How did it get like that? I seem to, I think, block it out. Yeah. Uh, oh. I'll show you through to the front room. Yeah. Is it worse, or is it just how you imagined, or...? I don't want to offend you no, and say no, worse, no. but no. it probably is worse than right. I thought. OK. No I problem. don't really like flats, cos I get paranoid about the germs. Oh, Cos I, I feel like there's no garden to let the germs uh, out. OK. I'm really bothered yeah, about yeah, germs yeah. and stuff. There is a window out the kitchen that looks out onto the garden, so, you know, that is usually open, cos I've got a cat. <laughs> <laughs> Have you honestly got a cat? I've got a cat, yes. Oh, my God. OK. I don't like you cats. You do like cats. It was horrific. And she's got a cat. His bum hole will be on the surfaces 100%. She said it won't 100%. That cat will sit on the surfaces with its bum hole and it will get faeces on the surfaces 100%. I feel like I don't want to offend her, but at the same time, like, I kind of feel like I don't even want to go back in. Everywhere I wipe, there's yeah. cat hair. In Plumstead, obsessive-compulsive cleaner Haley is on day one of the clean at Shireen's one-bed flat. See, look how quick it comes off. Mm. This would take you, like, two minutes to do this if you used, like, loads of bleach. Haley is determined to clean up every room in the flat. I'm washing the rubber gloves cos I've just picked up these sponges. I'm a bit nervous now, so I'm going to put another pair of gloves over the top just to give me, like, double... Added protection. <laughs> today, it's mainly going to be about the bleach. The bleach, right. OK? Bleach day so today. your whole house <laughs> is going to smell of bleach. Right. Which does excite me, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm desperately excited to open this bleach. Yeah. In her own home, Haley's so afraid of germs that she uses up to two bottles of bleach a day. She's just poured half the contents of one bottle down Shireen's sink. But you don't need to empty half the bottle. <laughs> Seriously, it's quite strong. It's too much for me. Really? Yeah. Oh, I love going it. Going down my throat. Oh. <coughs> <coughs> We've got the window open, haven't we? Yeah. <laughs> it's that fumes. And you, you like that smell? <coughs> Hello? <laughs> I would wear this as perfume if I oh, could. I love it. No. <laughs> when I smell bleach, I feel like my whole life makes sense. Oh, I love God. it. It's not oh. affecting me at all. I would I'll use slightly sick. more. <laughs> she was actually choking, like she was coughing from the bleach, and I was like, "You are kidding me! It's not that strong." So I'm kind of now like, maybe I do use too much bleach, and like my body's just become used to it, and that scares me a little bit. Taking a break from the cleaning, Haley wants Shireen to understand what's driving her fear of germs. If I explain to you, this might help you see. Yeah my reasonings behind sure. why I'm this way. Okay. Um, in 2007, I was diagnosed with having OCD. You can get OCD in all different types of forms, so mine yeah. happens to be with cleaning. cleaning. You get these thoughts, like intrusive thoughts in yes. your head, yeah. and you get really anxious mm. if you've not done mm. these rituals that you, you want to do. It's sort of like, what if I don't clean my kitchen side today? Yeah. What if one of my children do get really ill and get taken into hospital? Then that would be my fault, because I left that one day where I didn't clean my kitchen side. Literally, it was like a compulsion that you couldn't yeah, help. I do it, yeah. To do it, yeah. Against your will, kind of yeah. thing, maybe. Yeah, so. Okay, well. Now that she has a greater understanding of what's motivating Haley's urge to clean, Shireen wants to give her an insight into why she's neglected her flat. I was married to someone for nearly 12 years, had to keep the house immaculate. Yeah. And for me, I don't feel comfortable like that. It consumes your life. And basically, four years ago, I, I divorced, I separated, yeah. and I was like, no, I'm not living like that. But the problem is I went the other end. And it just all fell to part. Yeah. <laughs> I'm 
better, but I know that things need to be done. I desperately want to clean the house. She was obviously poorly a, a little while ago, and I think she got into a state where she just gave up hope and she just didn't care, which I think is really, really sad. In Plumstead, it's day two of the clean, and OCD sufferer Haley has moved on to Shireen's bedroom. With this room being used as a prayer room, shoes are forbidden. I'm going to take my shoes off That's and put okay. carrier bags around my feet. Are you OK with that? I mean, if that's what makes you feel safe. I feel like I'm going to set a new fashion trend for <laughs> carry a bag shoe. Oh, dear. Can I not tempt you, Shireen? No, not at all. <laughs> there is ongoing research into links between OCD and body dysmorphic disorder. Haley is highly conscious of her appearance and can redo her makeup up to five times until she feels better with how she looks. Oh, my goodness. That is like every girl's dream. <laughs> Your face is just lit up. I'm guessing you like makeup a lot. How long do you spend before you come out of the house? Sometimes I could be doing my makeup for up to four hours. You're joking? No. Four hours? If I feel like it's not done right, I'll wash it off and start Redo again. Redo it again? Yeah. To me, my makeup is almost part of my cleaning. Right. I don't like leaving my house if yeah. I don't feel like it's perfect in my eyes right, right. so to someone else they might think oh i don't like the way you do your makeup mm. but for me yeah. i'm like i love it i yeah. think it and the more the better i love loads of makeup right and it just i feel comfortable it's almost like my safety blanket really? it's like a mask yeah so i love it so do you have anything that you like doing that's apart from cleaning apart from your appearance that you have a hobby that you really like doing and you sort of get absorbed in that i think then you would see that you don't have that much time to be obsessing about how clean is your house? How much you've got to worry about your appearance? What do you think? Yeah, I think that's a really good point that you've made. They may have very different beliefs about how to live their lives, but Haley and Shireen seem to be finding some shared ground. What would you do with this flat? If I gave you free reign, what, what would you do? Yeah, I think I would paint it really, really bright, and then I would get you, like, a whole mirror wall, and it would open your whole room up. Right. Yes. In Plumstead, Hayley is taking Shireen shopping for accessories to brighten up her home. I feel like at the moment it's just a bit drab because it's so beige and... Mm -hmm. Shireen's mum, who usually refuses to visit the flat, is coming over tomorrow and Hayley wants to impress. Oh, look, there's pink Flowers. over here. Should we go and look at no, the No, no pink, please. Will you honestly not buy this? Not at all. Shopping like this, like for household furnishings, I don't think I've ever even done it. This is the first for me. In your bedroom, we could do no. that. No. To me, it's just like an extra thing that I have to clean. Oh, I just want to get this going. <laughs> if I gave free reign to Hayley, uh, I don't know whether I'd be able to live in my flat, to be honest. What colours do you want to go for? What about beige? Absolutely beige not beige. And brown. Beige isn't a colour, though. Beige it is, is a just colour. a. Beige is. Brown. Beige isn't a colour. Beige is just a blue. I think we need something colour. bright in your house. Purple? Actually, yeah, I don't mind that. I do like that um, shade of purple. That, I don't mind this. Right, actually. well, I think we should try and find some purple, because you need to tie it in. I know you don't want cushions, but I think we should get at least a couple of purple cushions, just for, like, purposes of, like... Decoration. They look pretty. And then the final touch is going to be a purple lampshade. Not sure whether that's my cup of tea. Just think maybe a couple, just to yeah. brighten it up yeah, a bit no, and to right. have, yeah. like, a theme. Yeah. Surprisingly, yes, I do like that. So you actually like yeah, it? Yeah, I do. Oh, it's all, like a violet it. colour, isn't it? And it's going in completely well. It's complementing yeah. everything. Heidi has taken me to a place where I would never really contemplate going before, but I'm quite enjoying the journey. I think I'll, I will be more proud of my home and I'll take care of it more. In South East London, it's Hayley's last day. We're almost ready for Shireen's mummy. Um, I think she's getting nervous now. She's upstairs in her pinny, baking a cake. For months, Shireen's mum has avoided coming to the flat, ashamed by the state of it. Along with her husband, she's here to give her verdict. Hello. Hello. 
Come in. Nice to see you. Four days ago, Shireen's lounge was a mess of abandoned furniture, old paperwork, and rubbish. Oh, Shireen. Oh, completely different. Completely different, isn't it? Very nice. It's just in here. The kitchen used to be littered with rubbish, old food, and dirty dishes. But five bottles of bleach and disinfectant have left the room free of germs and up to Haley's high standards. This is my dream, you know. Come and have a look at the sink. Do you think the sink looks mm. clean? Yeah, very clean. It's a very yeah. beautiful letter. Yeah. You know? I yes. like uh, nature. Right, shall we go and have a look at the bedroom now? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, it's all right. Let's yeah. go through and have a look. In the bedroom, Shireen's mountain of clothes has been put away. Brand new accessories have given her a room she can take pride in once more. This is more beautiful. Are you happy? Yeah, very happy. Because especially bedroom is very, very messy. Nice. Yeah. Very Was this the worst room, would you say? <laughs> <laughs> and, now? and this is now best room. Best room? <laughs> oh. I'm in dream. Because this is... This dream is come true very much like this dream. My mum kept saying she feels like she's in a dream. I think uh, she probably just wanted somebody to pinch her to wake her up. She couldn't believe her eyes. To be honest, I feel the same. Even though I've been here for the process, it's like, is this my flat? It's so, just totally uh, been transformed. I like this flat really, really very nice. This is my wish to my daughter's flat. I will come because no problem now. I'm really proud that I've put my um, OCD to positive use because I think from it, I have actually really helped Shireen and it really isn't a negative thing because I feel like I'm a really good cleaner because of my OCD and I've proved that today from doing the whole house. 